Hello, hello, welcome to Pink Ivy Media. I welcome you very specially to this channel once again. How are you guys doing today? What's happening at your side? Happy New Month once again. And it's still about the royals. Before I continue, kindly give this video a thumbs up if you've not done that. And also share this video and comment if you have anything to say in this gist. And then like this video. Thank you. Hmm. Guys, eh, it's not a small thing. No, only of if eh, don't get peacemaker for a palace. So, hey. So now it was alleged that uh, Olori Elizabeth, like the, the, the queen, she sat down and then she noticed so many things since she uh, arrived at the palace. And she was like, there is a, every need that peace uh, should be restored back to the palace once again because the way the palace is that uh, she, she came and see everything that is happening that ah actually the palace is not really at peace and because of why she was saying all of this was the fact that as she came to palace she have heard she have uh, uh, relate with so many persons in the palace who were in the palace before she arrived at the palace and she has gotten to know that uh, the the only person who uh, is a peace giver in that palace, according to what she said, was that um, uh, it, that is Olori and uh, Naomi. And so I haven't heard this, and she now thought that wow, if Olori Naomi is the person that can bring peace to this palace, that she is the person that will make uh, the palace to be united once again. That why not? Why not? And so what she did was that she 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 called the uh, the rest of her rivals, the the other queens, and then uh, spoke to them about this particular issue that she wants to to fix a meeting where the only of Ife will be called along with Olori Naomi, so that they will set settle some uh, differences that. Um, Okay, maybe like Olori Naomi should come back to the palace. Hey, yeah. Hey, it's not a small thing, no. My correct, correct people, they said, hmm, when she told these women this thing, eh, you need to see how they responded to her. Like, hmm, well, okay, go ahead, though. You know, <laughs> that was what they were doing, though. The way they were responding, eh? shows that they don't even have interest at all at all like they don't have interest and she was like uh it's as if naomi is 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 someone who is not at the palace but she is a, their competitor like she's the one they are competing with whereas she's not in the palace someone who is not in the palace with you who is out there doing her own things but everything is channeled to uh olori naomi and that was why she felt that if they will uh, uh, uh make this meeting with the only of ife settle some things and then bring olori naomi back to the palace because she said uh olori naomi since she came, uh, if you talk, uh, if only of if I say one thing, the next thing is Olori Naomi. They say another thing that Olori Naomi has never departed from his lips. Chai, the Olori Naomi has just been the talk of the of the palace, even as she's not there. That the information she gathered so far from the palace uh, uh, people was that. When uh, Lori Naomi was there, she's a peacemaker, she's so kind, you know. She said she had so many good, good things about her that impressed her so much that she really, really wants, if it's possible that the Lori Naomi will come back to this palace, if that's what they will do for the palace to have peace again, that it's going to be a great thing. And um, Maria was like, ha, ha. okay, oh. Go ahead, though. Uh, you know that is a uh, uh, Lori Naomi that has the the key to the uh, uh, happiness of this palace. So you can also go ahead and go and invite her. Just do what you want to do. It's fine. 
you know, and she just kept saying all of this thing that actually uh, when they came to this place, uh, Olori Naomi was not there, was not actually in the palace when they arrived. She was just on her own before uh, and she left the palace before all of them start coming into the palace one after the other and uh, when she kept saying all of these things all the oloris were just looking at her like they were not showing any interest at all at all and she was wondering why uh the only if this all record that she has uh, uh, heard about this Lori Naomi is true, how is it that the only of Ife can uh, make the Olori Naomi to go like that? And she was wondering. I was, I was like, here, yeah? um, uh, this uh, Olori um, Elizabeth don't turn peacemaker overnight. So, like, what does she want to achieve in this? I beg. I don't know. Does she think that if she if she go to someone Olori uh, Naomi? Naomi will actually come. It, the, the, Naomi does not have any problem with the whole issue anymore. The lady has gone ahead with her life. She has forged ahead with her life. She's doing what she knows how to do with her life already. So why are they pressed? Why, why are they even uh, uh, competing with someone who is not there? It's what we don't even understand at all. Because you guys know that uh, Olori Mariam, she has been uh, fighting Olori Elizabeth that we heard allegedly, even as she, uh, sorry, she has been fighting Olori Naomi, even we heard that Olori Naomi is not in the palace. She has been fighting somehow, one way or the other, because anytime the owner of Ife talk about Olori Naomi, she will just flare up and then start, uh, and she will start uh, looking for one trouble or the other. Like uh, so many things that has happened in different occasions that uh, only of Ife will need to meet with Naomi. She want to go and spoil the meeting and all of that. And so with all these things Olori Elizabeth have said, you think that even Olori Maria, with what she said, she will, she will allow that to come to pass. We do not no. So my correct, correct people drop your comments as I will bring this more again. Thank you.